Hey there. Have you been dreaming of having your own successful dietitian business where you are able to make a huge impact in the world all while making a great income? Well, today I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step blueprint to starting a private practice dietitian business. I want you to imagine being your own boss, setting your own hours, all while making a huge difference in people's lives, all on your terms. Now, the entrepreneurial journey, of course, may have its challenges, but I promise you with the right guidance, your success is well within reach. Whether you are a seasoned dietitian ready to branch out or just beginning your career in this field, this guide is tailor-made just for you. And in case you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm Leslie Vitell, practice building strategist and mentor for health professionals helping practitioners in this space for almost a decade now. I've got an MBA in global business, and I've actually had a very successful private practice myself for many, many years. And I gotta say, I've witnessed and personally experienced, I think, all of the highs and lows of establishing a private dietitian business. And my mission is to equip you with the knowledge, strategies, and insights to navigate this journey successfully. So. If you are a dietitian or health pro eager to launch your own practice, maybe diversify your income and genuinely make a difference in the lives of your clients, then you are in the right place. Today, we are diving deep into the world of private practice for dietitians. And I gotta say, it's an exciting journey filled with opportunities not only to help you grow professionally, but also to touch countless lives with your expertise. So I'll be guiding you through a step-by-step -step blueprint to ensure that you are well-equipped to start and thrive in your own dietitian business. So let's start by talking about the advantages of private practice for RDs. Venturing into private practice is so much more than just setting up a business, right? It's about placing that stake in the ground within the vast world of health and nutrition. And having your own practice means you have the autonomy to make decisions that align with your values as well as your vision for your future. You're not just following protocols, you are actually setting them. And this freedom allows you to tailor your services to the specific needs of your clients, ensuring they receive highly personalized care to ensure also they get the support they need to improve their, their health situation. Moreover, private practice offers financial benefits with dedication and of course the right strategies. You can set your own rates, diversify your income streams, and definitely earn more than you would in a traditional employment setting. But beyond the financial aspect, of course, there's that deeper satisfaction in knowing you're making a direct impact. Every success story, every health transformation is a testament to your skills and dedication. In private practice, you're not just a dietitian, of course, you're an entrepreneur, a mentor, and that beacon of hope for many seeking better health. Now, before we delve deeper into the intricacies of setting up your practice, it's crucial to grasp the basics. So, what exactly does it mean to be a private practice dietitian? Well, first and foremost, as a private practice RD, you're not just offering dietary advice, right? You're providing a holistic service that encompasses nutrition, education, maybe personalized meal planning, health assessments, and also continuous support for your clients. Your role is to help guide them on their health journey, ensuring they have the tools and the education they need to make informed and sustainable choices. But who are these clients? Well, the beauty of private practice is that the potential clientele is unlimited. From individuals seeking weight management solutions, maybe athletes aiming for optimal performance, to those with specific medical conditions requiring dietary interventions, the demand is ever growing. The health and wellness industry has actually seen a huge surge in recent years with more and more people prioritizing their well being. And this trend translates to a broader market for dietitians offering numerous opportunities to specialize and cater to diverse needs. 
So with a clear understanding of the basics, now it's time to lay the groundwork. Just like building a house requires a strong foundation, setting up a successful private practice demands thorough preparation. So you ready to dive into the essentials? Let's do it. So first on the list is ensuring you meet the educational and licensing requirements. While passion and dedication are vital, formal education and the necessary certifications, honestly, they're non-negotiable. So depending on your region, you'll need to complete a recognized dietetics program and of course obtain the required licenses to practice. So it's really important to stay updated on regulations in your area to ensure that you're compliant from a legal standpoint. Now, once these rather obvious formalities are in place, it is time to think about your niche. The world of dietetics is vast. And while it's tempting to try to cater to everyone, specializing can really set you apart and position you as the go-to expert. So whether it's sports nutrition, maybe pediatrics, managing chronic illnesses, you will want to find a niche that really resonates with your passion and expertise. And declaring a specialization not only helps you to stand out in a crowd, it also helps you to provide highly targeted and effective solutions for your clients. Bottom line, niching down truly is a game changer. In fact, I covered this topic in another video and also wrote a blog highlighting top earning niches in dietetics. So if you're wondering where to focus your expertise, I highly recommend checking those out after this video because they are packed with insights that I think can help you to make a really informed decision and truly thrive in your chosen niche. And I'll be sure to put the links in the description or right below this video. But for now, let's continue with our blueprint. So once you've got your niche in mind and the necessary qualifications in place, it is time to delve into the heart of setting up your business. And that requires business planning. And I can't stress enough the importance of a well thought out business plan. It's not just a formality, it's a roadmap to your success. And it can be helpful to think of your business plan as like your GPS, guiding you through every twist and turn of your private practice journey. So first up is your mission statement. And I want you to know this isn't just another fancy thing to put on your website. It's really the core of your practice, defining your purpose, your values, and your unique value that you bring to your clients. And it also sets you apart and keeps you grounded. Next up, financial projections. So it's essential to have a clear picture of your expected income, expenses, and profitability, because this will set you up for realistic goals and ensure that you're prepared for any financial challenges that just might come your way, all right? And of course, marketing strategy, my favorite. In today's digital age, having a strong online presence is crucial from your website, social media, Every touch point should reflect your brand and resonate with your target audience. But it's not just about being online. Instead, it's about being visible, engaging, and of course, building that all important trust. So in essence, your business plan, it's really the backbone of your practice. It gives you clarity, direction, and confidence to navigate the world of private practice with both purpose and passion. Now, I understand that crafting a business maybe can feel a little overwhelming, especially if you're new to the entrepreneurial side of things, but do not worry, I've got your back. I have written a detailed blog post specifically tailored for health and wellness professionals in private practice. It breaks down the entire process of creating a business plan, making it much more straightforward and I think highly actionable. So I highly recommend giving it a read. It just might be that blueprint you've been searching for. So I will link that in the description below for easy access. With your business plan in hand, you are well on your way, but there is more for us to cover. So let's move on to the next crucial step and that is setting up your practice. All right, with your business plan ready, it is time to get into the nitty gritty, setting up your practice. And this is where your vision starts to take physical shape and the excitement truly kicks in. First, let's talk about locate. location. Do you envision starting from the comfort of your own home or are you leaning maybe towards a professional rented space? Of course, both have their pros and cons. Or maybe you want to create a virtual practice whereby you will see clients via an online platform. 
Well, next, the tools of the trade. In today's digital era, having the right equipment and software is paramount. Invest in reliable consultation tools, whether that's high, a high quality webcam for your virtual sessions, whether that's a high quality webcam for your virtual sessions, or maybe body composition scales for your in-person assessments. Additionally, consider management software to help you to manage appointments, client records, and billing. Because these tools not only enhance your service quality, but also really will help you to streamline your operations, allowing you to focus on what you do best, and that is helping your clients to achieve their health goals. I also want to mention nowadays, many practitioners use an all-in-one EMR platform, such as Practice Better, to meet most of their tech needs. And I'll drop that link in the description below, should you wish to check that out. I have to say most of my clients use this platform and they're very happy with it. The bottom line, the initial setup is an investment in your future and every decision you make lays the foundation for your success of your private practice. Now, before we continue, I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you for watching. If you are finding value in this content, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing for more insights and guidance on building a successful dietitian practice. Sharing this video with your fellow health professionals or friends considering this path can also make a world of difference. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So in the comments below, let me know where you are at in your private practice journey. Are you just starting out or have you already taken some steps to move yourself forward? Maybe you're contemplating between a home-based setup or a rented space. Your experiences and insights can be invaluable to others in our community, so don't be shy. Let's get the conversation going. All right, with that being said, let's dive back into our blueprint. Now, I'd like to shift our focus to a crucial aspect that can make or break your private practice, and that's marketing and branding. In a world where online presence is paramount, ensuring that you stand out is essential. So first and foremost, your website. I want you to think of your website as your online business card, a reflection of your expertise, services, and values. It's the first impression that many potential clients will have of you, so investing in a professional, user-friendly website is key. You want to ensure it's easy to navigate, mobile responsive, and contains all the essential information from your services all the way to client testimonials. But a website alone, of course, isn't enough. Enter social media. So platforms like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, of course, YouTube, can be really, really powerful tools to help promote your services, share valuable content, and to engage with your potential clients. Regular posts, stories, and webinars can really position you as an authority in your niche and help you to connect to a broader audience. And remember, your brand is way more than a logo, logo or a color scheme. It's the experience you offer, the trust you build, and the relationships you nurture. Consistency in your messaging and visuals across all platforms really reinforces your brand identity and tends to build trust with your audience. Now, I want to pause just for a moment and acknowledge something. Everything we've covered so far, it might feel like a lot, and it's completely natural to feel a bit overwhelmed. But I want you to know that you can do this. I've had the privilege of coaching hundreds of professionals just like you, guiding them to build thriving six-figure businesses. And the journey has its challenges, but I promise you with determination, and of course the right guidance, success is not only possible, I think it's inevitable. So take a deep breath, believe in yourself, and remember that you're not alone in this journey, all right? So now let's talk about the heart of any successful practice, and that is building strong client relationships. Honestly, at the end of the day, your expertise is essential, but the trust and rapport you build with your clientele is what truly sets you apart. Building trust starts honestly with that very first interaction. So consider offering initial consultations, maybe at a discounted rate, or sometimes we do it for free. 
This not only gives potential clients a taste of your expertise, but also demonstrates your genuine interest in their well being. Promotions or introductory offers can also be a great way to attract new clients. But remember, it's not just about getting them through the door. It's about providing value, understanding their needs, and establishing a lasting relationship and offering services that meets their needs. Every client is a unique individual, and the more you can tell your, tailor your approach to their specific needs, the stronger bond you will build. Now, while passion often drives us, it's essential to also have a clear financial strategy to ensure that your private practice thrives. So first up is pricing and payment structures. It's really important to set your prices in a way that reflects your expertise and the value you provide while also being competitive in the market. So, so you might want to consider offering a variety of service options at varying price points and also payment options in order to cater to different people who have different kinds of budgetary considerations. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the a la carte session model for a whole bunch of reasons that I have to talk about, but mainly because it just doesn't drive results in the same way that packages and programs do. Managing expenses is another key aspect. Everything from rent and utilities to software subscriptions, keeping a close eye on your outgoing expenses ensures profitability. And regularly reviewing and adjusting your expenses can really help to optimize your cash flow and your overall financial health. Now, when it comes to taxes, I cannot emphasize this enough hire a professional. The tax landscape for private practice can be intricate and having an expert by your side can really help save you time, stress, and potentially a whole lot of money. I'll put the link in the description of someone I know and trust and recommend in this field. They've been invaluable to many professionals just like us, ensuring that we stay compliant and make the most of our hard earned money. Now, in this fast changing world of nutrition and health, we can't just sit still and expect to stay ahead, right? It's like being on a treadmill. If you're not moving forward, you're falling behind. So to truly give our clients the best, we've gotta keep learning and growing. It's all about staying curious, hungry for knowledge, and always aiming to be better than we were yesterday. It's absolutely vital to keep up with the latest nutrition science, ensuring your advice is evidence-based as well as up to date. But it's not just about academic knowledge because networking with other professionals, attending workshops and participating in courses can provide invaluable insights and fresh perspectives. So let me let you in on a little secret. Those dietitians you see thriving in private practice, I promise you they're not doing it all on their own. Behind the scenes, there's often a network of support, guidance, and continuous learning. And that's where I come in. I've got free workshops, in-depth courses, mastermind groups, and tailored coaching programs up my sleeve. And for those who really wanna dig deep with me at your side, there's even VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's all about having someone in your corner cheering you on and sharing the wisdom that can really help you to circumvent the obstacles and catapult your results. Remember, no one, and I mean no one, reaches the pinnacle of their profession alone. Frankly, I've always had at least one coach on my team, sometimes two, depending on what I'm working on in my business. So think about it, the best Olympic athletes, the stars of the NFL, they all have coaches guiding them, refining their skills, and pushing them to be their best. And the same principle applies here. With the right support, the sky truly is the limit for your private practice. Now we've covered a lot today and I truly hope you're feeling inspired and equipped to embark on your private practice journey. And remember, every big achievement starts with a decision to go for it. So take that first step, even if it's a small one. And for those of you eager to dive deeper, I've got a treasure trove of resources waiting for you. So check out the links in the description below for blog posts, courses, and more that can guide you every step of the way in your journey. 
And hey, if this video resonated with you, please consider sharing it with others who might benefit. Let's grow and thrive together in this incredible world of dietetics and health. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, keep pushing forward and making a difference. And just know I'm here cheering you on every step of the way.